Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we will be discussing host parasite. A relationship in broader term I can say host parasite ecology. We'll discuss what is a host, what is a parasite, what are the different types of parasites, specifically discussing the examples of some of the important parasites. We'll discuss hosts and their types. I hope that this video will give you an overview of the host parasite ecology host parasite relationship and in my future videos i'll discuss specific parasite and their life cycle in more detail so please stay tuned and watch all these videos in this series so that the topic or the subject parasitology is clear to let's jump on to the video so we'll start with the topic which is host parasite relationship I would say, let me write it down, host parasite ecology. In this, I will discuss uh, what is a host and what are the features of the host and what is a parasite and what are the specific or basic features of the parasite. So we'll start with the host and then we'll, we'll discuss the parasite. I'll, I'll make the diagrammatical representation also. Uh, my diagrams are not that much interesting, but hopefully you will be able to, uh, you know, see them and understand these are the host and the parasite. So here I'm trying to draw the host. So this is, say, if, if I have a host for a specific parasite as a human, as a host, so this will be our host and this is what I'm trying to draw is a parasite, a worm. So many of the parasites, they belong to the helminths. Now, parasite can be living organism. So I would say it, it, it will be a living organ, an organism and it lives in or on the other living organism. So this is important point. It can live inside or it can live on the organism or, or other living organisms like humans. It can derive nutrients because parasite needs nutrients for its uh, life. That is why it's going to take out the nutrients and then there will be no benefit to the host. That is one of the important uh, parameters. Next, host will have the parasite. Second, it will have the disease because of the parasite because there will be a lot of loss of the nutrients from the host. So this is kind of a one way uh, relationship where parasite is getting benefited and the humans, they are getting lot of loss or the host is getting a lot of uh, loss from the parasite. Now if we discuss parasite, I hope now it is clear. So we'll, we'll jump on to the parasite types. First is the ectoparasite and second one is the endoparasite. Ecto means which is on the surface, which is not penetrated up to the tissue level. So you can say it inhibits the surface, not the, not the tissue level. So uh, the parasite is, is not there inside the tissues. Example is free, fleas. You have uh, fleas that, that can act as a parasite. So we can, we, can, uh, we can characterize them into the ectoparasite category. Second, endoparasite. The parasite that can live inside the body and penetrate up to the tissue level. You have Leishmania or Plasmodium, I would say. And then there are other categories, important categories. So I'll, I'll again write those categories down. We'll discuss uh, the different, different uh, points regarding those category categories one is obligate parasite obligate you, you i'm sure that you understand this particular word and then facultative obligate means very very definitive very very specific facultative means you have the option then accidental i'm sure you understand what is accident and then aberrant just uh, you know you you get the host or the parasite get the host aberrantly now, obligate parasite means the parasite cannot exist without the host. Second, facultative parasite. Where parasite can live a parasitic life. So, I forgot to give the example which is plasmodium in this case. Facultative parasite uh, which can live a parasitic life but it can also live a free living life without without the host an example is a kent amoeba so you need to remember all those examples they are examples they are important specifically if you consider the uh, competitive exam then unusual host if you got the unusual host which is not the part of the life cycle of the parasite for example echinococcus granulosus humans are the external 
so you can you can you can say in this case um, main host for the echinococcus is dog then if you get into the humans then it's a accidental basically host and this parasite becomes the accidental parasite for humans a print parasite means it cannot live further it cannot develop further if enters inside a, a wrong host so toxoka next definitive host what is what is the definitive definitive means it's concrete it is the specific host for the organism and it, it needs to reproduce sexually inside that particular host so if the parasite is replicating sexually the example is inside anopheles mosquito parasite which is plasmodium replicates sexually so this is an important point here intermediate host where the replication is a sexual replication or i would say a sexual reproduction and the parasite is plasmodium inside the humans it can replicate asexually so reproduction is asexual reproduction and definitive host reproduction is sexual reproduction then there are other hosts like reservoir host you have paratinic host then amplifier host etc these are all the examples of the host for the parasite depending upon what kind of relationship uh, they will have with each other we can characterize these organisms uh, and and we can characterize these parasites into different types of parasites as you can see i can say plasmodium is the obligate parasite because it cannot live uh, without the host you need a host and second Facultative parasite means a canthamoeba can live without a host and it can also live a free life. So these, based on their you know, lifestyle or life cycle, you can you can characterize them into different categories, and they are not limited. There are other categories you can you can look look into, and you can uh, find out what are those categories. You have ectoparasite, you have endoparasite. We have discussed those. Uh, and we can also differentiate hosts depending upon how parasite is living inside that host. We have characterized the host as definitive and intermediate. These are one of the important points. Whenever you have a question, specifically in terms of the, uh, the parasites, and uh, you can get a question regarding plasmodium that what is the intermediate host and why humans are the intermediate host for the parasite plasmodium so these are the important things and we will be discussing these points specifically by taking the examples of these parasites one by one so i hope that you're going to stick uh, to these uh, video lectures specifically on the parasitology there are not many lectures available and uh, i'm sure that this uh, this lecture series is going to give you a lot of uh, you know benefit regarding your understanding of the parasitology you'll, you'll get a lot of notes and i hope that you know while going through these lectures you should be able to understand their life cycle what are the different features of these parasites and uh, how in the environment these parasites they are living so with that note i'll just conclude this video and i'll see you in my next video where we will discuss more topics of parasitology